Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this travel backpack made by Wayer. Now this is a $54 backpack that you can find on Amazon. Links will be in the description below if you want to go pick this thing up. And I guess there's not really much more to say about it, so let's go ahead and start with the uh, unboxing portion, I guess. But first, I'm going to go and show you around the uh, package here. I would have said box, but it's not in a box. So here it is. I'll just show you the label here since that's the only thing on this package. Uh, you can see there right there's a label, travel backpack, men, women, and it's in the uh, black color in this case. So uh, there's that. Once again, nothing else to the package. Um, it's just in this little bag here. So let's go ahead and open up this bag. I believe it's not like resealable. Or no, it is. Okay, never mind. I thought it was one that you would have to cut into. Looking forward to using my new knife, but... Uh, not well, too bad. All right, so let's go and open this thing up. It's like one of those little zipper type of bags. And take this thing out. And okay. This is very big, so I'm having a hard time on the table here. All right, there's the bag set off to the side, and then it's in like another little bag. Kind of looks like a pillowcase, actually. Let's go and take it out of here. And there it is. Here's the backpack. Feels... I would say actually pretty nice so far. And there's the front. Check it out. So it's like a backpack, but it's also like a, I would say kind of like a briefcase kind of thing or like a travel bag. You can see there's a handle here, but then there's also a handle up here if you want to use that as like a book bag. And then there's also uh, straps here to go on your back. So pretty much it's a book bag and a travel bag. So I would say that's uh, pretty cool. Now also this thing somewhere here it is right here. This thing has a USB port on it, so I believe you can uh, plug in like your own power bank inside of here. I'm trying to find the cord where it is. And um, you could have a USB cord running out of here and charging your phone or whatever. So I think that's, once again, pretty cool. I'm gonna go and clip this here and unz unzip the uh, main compartment. Here's the zipper. Okay, so there's a bunch of things inside. Or at least a few things. Zip it here. And open it up. So inside we have... Okay, yeah, so it is kind of like a little travel bag. I'm trying my best to show you guys this. I really can't that well. It has a little zippered compartment over here. There's that. Once again, I'll try to show you guys this better later on. But Okay, so just a little piece of paper there. Some silica gel fell out. And okay, so I'm really trying to find out where this USB port is. So there's it. And okay, there must be another compartment. I can't find this thing right now. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to go in and do now is uh, find out what all the compartments in this thing lead to. And uh, I'm going to get back with you guys on that. All right, so now the actual review portion of this video on this backpack. Now I'm going to go over two main things, and that's number one. Uh, build quality, what type of materials they're using, and also space, because keep in mind, this is just a backpack. Those are really the only two things that actually matter. Um, I mean, there's not like, you know, tech built in and stuff like that, so there's not much to go over in terms of that. So just, um, just build quality and uh, what kind of space you have inside. So first thing we're going to go over is on the front here this is the front and i noticed in their amazon listing is that the front of this they poured water on this okay and then they just simply got a paper towel and they wiped it off and it just came right off that is because and, and truthfully it looks like fabric and i thought it was at first too but it's not it's like a rubber type of material feels pretty nice in my opinion and so that's pretty cool so if you get this thing wet you don't need to worry about it it's not going to soak up any water um, it's just going to simply run off and then you could just wipe it off and it'll be just fine. So now to go over the first pocket on the front here. So there's a zipper here. I'm going to unzip that. And in here, it's pretty small. You can see I could pretty much fit about my entire hand in there and that's about it. So this would be good for like uh, maybe your phone, um, pencils maybe, 
Um, but this would mainly just be for a, a little phone pocket or something like that, maybe MP3 player. So there's that, pretty nice. Once again, you can see, fit my entire hand in there. So pretty decent. Close it up here. And then we also have another hidden pocket here, which I didn't even know this thing was here until I watched the video online. It's going to unzip it here. And this one, very, very large. You see right there, you could put, you could definitely fit a, um, gosh, a laptop in here. Definitely a laptop. Uh, maybe a MacBook? I mean, it's pretty darn large in here. So definitely fit a, a computer in here. Um, your phone, a tablet, something like that. So definitely very nice space here. So that's pretty cool. Close it up here. And now let's go in and go into th this compartment here. Now, this thing has a lot of space, so it's going to be one more after this one that I show you guys. Let's go ahead and zip it here. Zip it all the way, and there we go. So it opens like this right here. Now we'll go over this top part here. Uh, this is kind of like a little pocket here. You could use this for like uh, holding pencils or pens or something like that. It has this kind of like rubber material on the front, so... I think it's kind of like for like water resistance in my opinion because it really doesn't seem like any water could pass through this thing here it's nice and rubberized so see right in there definitely a good amount of uh, space I pretty much fit my entire hand in there so uh, definitely pretty nice again I think that's mainly just for water resistance so there's that and then on the other portion here I'm gonna fold it back uh, there's another pocket and I guess this would actually this would mainly be used for like a laptop, it looks more laptop sized. I'm going to unzip it here. See it has this mesh on the front, it opens up, you just place your laptop or whatever inside of there. And I'm truly thinking this is for a laptop because it has like these little lips around it here. You can see right there, you can fit a laptop in there, it has these lips around it for some cushion and just to hold it in. So that's pretty cool. So this is kind of like a dedicated laptop portion. So find that once again pretty nice I'm gonna go and zipper it all up here see the zipper right here and the zipper is made out of metal which I full I fully expected and uh, feels pretty nice zipper this up this entire backpack honestly feels really nice quality unzipper the last uh, little compartment here and now this is kind of like the uh, actual backpack space you can see it unzips completely here Sorry about that, I actually got a phone call now. The next thing to go over, and I just realized this when I was zipping the compartment back up to do it back on camera. This thing, and I, I remember hearing about this on the Amazon, this thing, I guess I kind of forgot about it. This thing can expand. That's right, you get bigger. Okay, so I went ahead and did it here. You can see it's way bigger here. Right there, and I guess that's kind of like what those little uh, lips on the inside were for. So this thing can get bigger. Check this thing out, because all this right here, where my hand is, that would normally fold in, and you wouldn't be able to see that. But now you can, so you would have even more space inside of this thing, and be even bigger if you wanted it to be. So that's really cool. Um, that's, I guess, one of the main things about this backpack. I don't know how I forgot about it. Uh, you can see, to put it all back, you just simply zipper it up. You don't need to fold it in or anything. So right here, I'm just simply zippering it up. And uh, it'll go and be all the way up here in a second. There we go, just like that. Sealed back up, and now it's small again. So, pretty darn cool. Uh, so, there's that. And now, the last thing here, I'm trying to figure out, here's the back side. Um, I'm going to unzip it here to show you guys the actual... Uh, last compartment itself. Let's go and unzip it here. And you can see here is the inside. You have a little, this is like the actual book bag portion of everything. So for me, like uh, my pencils and stuff would go in here, my pens, uh, sometimes my phone would go in this portion. And then this would be where all of your binders and your papers and stuff are. And then this here is like a, uh, a little portion for well I, I guess basically holding in binders and stuff so pretty cool I'm gonna go and mess with this thing for another minute here and see if I find out anything more interesting all right so I found yet another portion of this book bag uh, this thing just has so many compartments it's crazy it's really cool and that's what you would mainly buy this for 
is of just simply how much room it has. It's absolutely insane. So here is the last compartment, or at least I'm pretty sure it's the last compartment. Uh, this one here, it's on the front. Uh, once again, the zipper was kind of hidden, but I got it. Um, you can put stuff down in this little mesh grill here. Uh, and then you also here have your wire for your USB port on the side, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit here. So there's that. You also have little holes for uh, like maybe holding your phone here, um, pencils or pens going in this little slot here. And then this thing here is for actual rings or not rings. Um, what are they? Keys. I don't know why I said rings. I guess this was reminding me of a ring. So basically what you do is you put the keys on this little loop here. And then this end here just simply goes on to your backpack just like that. And then it holds your uh, keys in place so then you don't lose them. So that's really cool also. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and get a uh, USB charging bank and plug it up here and just show you guys that this USB port does in fact work. All right, so I went ahead and got a uh, power bank. As you can see here, I'm going to bring the... Uh, power bank and or the book bag i should say over here so you can see here power bank is in there it's hooked up to the cord i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here and i have a iphone cord coming out of the usb port right here and i'm going to set the book bag down grab a phone i have over here turn it on clear all the notifications first of all give me a second here and i'll go and plug it in just like that it is charging out of the book bag you can see right here working just like that so there you go pretty cool so it definitely does work that's something that i've seen on a uh a few book bags honestly i think every newer like more expensive kind of book bag uh pretty much has a usb port by now so that's pretty cool so what i'm gonna go and do now is uh i guess go and start this clip and go ahead and give you guys my final opinions all right so actually before i go in and give you guys my final opinions I want to show you guys yet another pocket I found. This thing is just full of pockets. I'm absolutely blown away. Uh, this one right here, this is on the back. You can see here is your straps and everything. There is a zippered up pouch right down here. And you can see I'm going to try my best to open it up. There's this kind of like a like brace, I guess you call it in the way. Um, but you can see right here, yet another pocket. Pretty decently sized too. I can fit my entire hand down in there. So yet another pocket. So now what I'm going to go in and do is give you guys my final opinions. All right. So overall, what do I think of this book bag? I think this thing is actually pretty good. Now, as I mentioned previously, I'm going to go and set this down here. But uh, as I mentioned previously, there's only really, uh, I guess, two things that a book bag uh, like that really matters in a book bag. And that's number one, build quality. You don't want it falling apart, uh, you know, a month after you have it or anything like that. So it needs to be well built and also space because you're having a book bag, obviously, to put stuff. So number one, build quality. Uh, it does seem pretty good in my opinion. Everything seems pretty well built. Um, everything seems to be, once again, made out of pretty good... Um, fabric and like the front here that's made of rubber that's not actual fabric as far as i could tell so that's pretty cool um so overall i would say it would hold up pretty well um over the course of a few years obviously i've only had this thing for a few days so i can't exactly test that um but it does seem pretty good in terms of build quality and i don't think at least it'll be falling apart anytime soon now also space now once again that's one of the main things with the backpack you're buying them to have space to put your things and space on this thing oh boy it is uh extremely good let's just go and say that um what was there four pockets maybe five separate big pockets to put pretty much anything in this book bag uh tablets your phone your laptop um notes stuff like that so actual stuff that you can't fit necessarily in a book bag very nicely and have it all organized this thing could definitely do it um there is insane amount of space on this thing and it's a pretty much exact same size as a normal backpack they just use their space really wisely uh, so i definitely give them credit for that they made this thing have a crap ton of pockets and i'm blown away by it so uh if you're looking for a book bag that seems to be pretty well made and also has a bunch of space for what I would say a pretty affordable price. 
I definitely do recommend this book bag uh, to anyone, especially a college student. Uh, if you're in college, you very likely have a laptop and you have a bunch of things that you need to put in your book bag. Uh, so I definitely do recommend this thing for that. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.